Hi guys and welcome to my AC Milan series on Football Manager 2016. Now, last see, last episode you saw us win three games on the bounce, 3-2, 3-2, 3-1 against Verona, Sampdoria and Sudtirol Alto Adage. I don't think we're going to get so much success today. Uh, we've got Roma in the league, Inter in the league and then Inter in the cup. So... Obviously not expecting huge from this episode, but fingers crossed we can get a couple of results at least out of those three. Um, I would love a run in the cup, but the board don't really care about that. The board care about the league, um, and we're not doing very well in the league, so two league wins and a cup loss wouldn't really make a difference. Um, I'm not really making much of a change to the side. I'm quite happy with the way it is at the moment. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is just get right into the game so I'm just thinking should I make a change or not up front no I, I think I'll stick with the team as is and we'll just get in right into the game okay guys to be honest I think we are going to lose here today um, despite being favourites according to the bookmakers but I just think that we need something else from the team today um, so what I've asked them to do is I've asked them to play counter-attacking style. Um, just simply to see how it goes. In the day, we might not do very well, but we've got to give something a try because I think Roma are too strong at the moment for this team. Um, obviously, once we once January comes and we can possibly sign somebody, hopefully, if the board let us, um, then we can look to attack teams like this. But realistically speaking, it's just a case of if we get a point off Roma, um, then I'm delighted. Unlucky Balotelli. I thought that was going to be a goal. I really did. Two and a half minutes into the game, I thought, oh, what a chance. But I mean, realistically speaking, I mean, a draw against Roma would be good. It'd be like a point gained rather than two dropped. Um, they are one of the top sides in Italy. Obviously, not the top side. Obviously, Juventus have... Uh, sort of won that battle over the last seven years, something like that. But, I mean, the thought is that we, the progress that we've made so far um, has been steady. It's been good um, from where we were. I mean, remember, we were rock bottom in this league. Um, there, there's been nothing in the past few weeks that's made me see that our team's are bottom of the league side. We've played well, we've looked confident, and I just think... It, today is the day to solidify that and if we can get a point against someone like Roma we can really really take something from that because they're you know they're one of the ones you consider top four so if we can take a point from this I'd be delighted um, get into him tackle don't let him run free and he's going to score oh no he's not Oh, oh boy. I could have seen that going in and would not have been a happy bunny. It looks like we might have got to half time. Wait, yep, half time, nil nil. Good result so far. Very pleased with the boys today. They've done their job, I've asked them to do. All I'm wanting them to do now is keep it going for another 45 minutes. And hopefully we'll be able to say that we got a decent result out of this game. So second half kicks off. Well in Montalivo. Ball out to Bonaventura. Ball over to Baca. And Baca has scored! Oh my god! Wow. Okay, cat amongst the proverbial pigeons here, guys. I was not expecting that, I have to say. Um, that has really surprised me, to be honest. And a great ball by Bonaventura. But what a finish by Baca. Keeper nowhere. 1-0 to Milan. Okay. Honda. Headed out. I'll get to that, get to that, get to that. Well done, Baca. Magnoli. Bertolacci. Zapata. 
Poor ball. So pass it again. Poor ball again. Bertolacci, Honda, wide. The Skiglio swings it in. Backer. And they're going to clear it. <laughs> oh, don't let them score now. Get into them. Tackle, tackle, tackle. Good save, Donna Rummer. Whoa, what a start to the second half. I mean, if the first half was a bit dull and boring, the second half is anything but. I'm just looking at conditioning of players here, and there's a few that are kind of a little bit need to come off, I think, or at least one needs to come off anyway. What I'll do is... Considering switches... Hmm. Okay, I'll bring on Kevin Prince Boateng for Montalivo. Despite Kevin Prince Boateng not being my favourite player at the moment at this football club, but I'll bring him on. He's a decent player. He can do a job, I think. So it's just a case of riding down the minutes, and when it gets to about 70 minutes, if we get that far at 1 0, I'll make another change. That's fine, we've got to 70 minutes now. That's excellent, guys. Excellent. Right. Who else is looking knackered? Okay. Rum Agnolia comes off. Mixesh on. <sighs> Bonaventura's knackered as well. Right. Jenny Menez on for Bonaventura. Let's go for this, guys. Come on. Got 15 minutes to play. Just hang on to it, guys. I don't want anything stupid. Menes. Ball. It's back up. He's free. Back up. Play it. Oh, don't shoot. Play it to Balotelli. Okay. We have about six minutes to go now. Don't let them get back into this. Well done. Get it away. Go on, Bertolacci. Go, 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 go. Back up. Ball to Balotelli. Oh, he's filled by Castan, and I think that's going to be a red card. Castan. Sent off, and Roma's day goes from bad to worse. Our day goes from better to better. Can we compound it with this free kick? No, we can't. But the ball goes out, and now it's just a case of really just wasting time and hoping that we can run down the clock. We've got two minutes added time, which we're into now, and hopefully... This should be us. Won the game. Yes! Come on! Come on! That is what we wanted. That's absolutely brilliant. Very nice victory, guys. Well done. Delighted. Oh. Well. That makes a huge impact. Not just for, you know, this game, but for the season as a whole. We've proven that we can get results here. Oh, that's excellent. That's just... Oh, wow. We ground that out. And, I mean, now the board confidence is up to 41%. I'm delighted with that. They're beginning to see that what we're doing is we've, we've noticed that there was a problem and we're rectifying it. So now, I mean, technically we're only three points off eighth. <laughs> you know, that's one win. That's excellent. Right. So, next game, guys. Inter Milan. In the league. I'll skip forward to that game and I'll be right back with you. Hi guys, and we're now back at the second live game of this episode. It's Inter Milan away in the Serie A. Now, I feel kind of fortunate in a way, because just after that game that we played against Roma, uh, their boss actually got sacked, So and they're actually doing better than us in the league. So um, I feel kind of fortunate to have kept on at my job when we were bottom of the league. Um, and then Roma, despite get sacking their manager, um, went on to actually lose... Uh, the next game against Juventus, so basically we're in a situation now where we can actually, a win here against Inter would leapfrog us definitely over them, and uh, possibly over, well, on over, over in the man as well on the head-to-head. -head. So, really interesting times here, guys. Um, the, the only other piece of news to update you on this week is that Kevin Prince Boateng has been sold to Real Madrid for £5 million, um, so he'll go in January. 
I, I felt that was the right move to make from our point of view. Um, he's not been getting a game, and five million quid we can spend on improving the squad. Uh, add that to any money that we might get from the board, which hopefully we'll get something. And well, we'll just take it from there. So going into the game with the exact same team as played the last game, let's get this done. Right, guys, for the Milan derby, I've decided to go attacking, uh, just simply because it's the Milan derby. You're not going to get anywhere by defending. So what I'm doing is basically just throwing this team together, throwing them into the game, and let's see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do it. So guys, drop, drop a like on this video if you're enjoying this series. Much It would be much appreciated. Um, if there's any hints and tips you want to give me, by, by all means, feel free. We're on a decent run at the moment, but that's not to say that uh, we're going to be always on a decent run. So um, any players you think that aren't quite performing in this team so far, any players you think that I've missed out, um, obviously from our team, as a card he scores, it's 1-0. Oh boy, what a start. Um, yeah, so as I said, any players that you think that I've missed from the team, maybe it's a youngster, maybe it's, um, you know, an experienced head, I don't know, um, please feel free to drop a comment and let me know. Um, I'll always take you, your guys' sort of views into consideration. I'm not saying I'll always, you know, you know, act on it, but certainly it's, it's a thought, it's food for thought, and the more views, um, the more views you, you get from people, um, on who they would sign and or who who they would play, um, the better you become as a manager because it, I mean obviously oh, Balotelli, uh, I mean obviously it's your it's my choice in the end of the day. But if if I'm I'm not infallible, you know I'm not the most fantastic person on this game ever. Um, I'm just an ordinary guy. So obviously you listen to people, you hear things, you you see if players are good in certain positions quite happy to listen to anyone that's willing to drop a comment and let me know. So, 18 minutes gone guys, there's not been a lot of action, but then again, here we go Montalivo, Bertolacci, ball out, oh poor, Stiscaglio, ball in, Baca, yes, what a looping header by Carlos Baca, well, at least I think it was a looping header. It looked like it from the 2D angle. Let's have a look at what it looked like on 3D. Ball in from Descaglio was great. And there's Baca. Looping header. Right past the goalkeeper. He had no chance, Handanovic. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, that's giving me more food for thought now as well because... Obviously, Baca's really playing well, and since we've put Balotelli up there, well, it seems to be working. So, I don't know, I mean, I don't think Balotelli's the, the answer, full stop. But, you know, having a strike partner up there has quite, it's helped Baca quite a lot. So let him get into spaces. So, we're approaching half time. One each. Not a bad scoreline to go in with, to be honest. Uh, yep. You're performing well out there. You're doing well. Keep the the attitude high. Keep people happy. And try our best to get back into this game and to win it. Montalivo to Honda. Corner, Honda. Gets a second bite at the cherry. Ball into Montalivo. Oh, that... Oh! I really thought that was going to be a goal. Oh, how do you screw that up? Okay, I'm going to make a change here because our two centre-backs are on bookings. So I'm going to bring on... In fact, I'm going to take them both off, to be honest. Um, Alex and uh, Mexesh can come on um, just to freshen things up a bit, if nothing else. Because it's a derby. We don't want players getting sent off. 
That's plain and simple. If they want to get Miranda sent off, by all means. But I don't fancy it myself. And now they've got their two centre backs on booking, so and interesting enough they're keeping theirs on. Oh Mexis. Oh Francis Drake. Now we're getting beat 2-1 and Brozovic scores with a set piece which is disappointing. It's disappointing though that the boy came off the the post there. And if he hadn't come off the post, you absolute arsehole, whoever you are on the post. I'm sure it was De Scaglio, and in fact I think it definitely was De Scaglio. And you know what? Christian Maldini can come on, I don't care. De Scaglio, you're, you're coming off. Simple as that. That's unforgivable. You had a job on the post, you came off it, and they scored at that post. Go on Honda. Ball. Poor. Oh dear. Jovetic. Tackle him. Tackle on oh no. Good save, Donnarumma. <sighs> Still 2-1. Bonaventura. Shocking ball. Maldini. Play it wide. To Honda. Great ball. Oh. And Lalic now. He's away and Jovetic is going to score. Good save, Donnarumma again. He's keeping us in this game, guys. Come on. We have got to go for this. I throw a wee team talk in there. Passionately. Encourage. And then throw another one in. Passionately. Push forward. We're not really doing it much, are we? Demand more. Come on, guys. This is shocking. It's just gone away from us. The entire game has just gone away from us. It's going to finish 2-1. Turn to Milan, and that's disappointing, to be honest. I had thought we could have continued the, the, the good trend that we were on, but alas, it comes to an end. At the, well, I suppose it's our home as well, but at the hands of our bitter rivals. Um, wasn't good enough. So get back out there and you beat them in this cup game. That's poor. That's lost us a lot of points in the league. We, could, we really needed that. So, what I'm going to do now is I am going to skip forward to the cup game, which is in three days and I'll be right back with you guys and today it's the Inter Milan Cup tie I've decided that what I'm going to do with this game is imagine you give the same players an opportunity to make amends for the disastrous league performance against Inter Milan uh, we did lose 2-1 in that however there's a couple of things I want to talk about before we get into the game a couple of things have happened that have made me quite happy to be honest with you um, I approached the board and asked them if we could get um, uh, an extra transfer budget and they've agreed and they've given me £12 million. Now £12 million isn't great or they've increased it to £12 million because obviously we sold Boateng um, and now it's increased to £12 million. So that's all good. Um, we've also got 90% of tra transfer revenue now which uh, the board agreed to which was A-OK. -okay. And Diego Lopez approached me and asked me for assurances that he would get first team football. I said no, because Donnarumma's you know number one, and he will be for the next God knows how many years. So uh, Diego Lopez uh, wanted transfer listed. So quite frankly, that's fine. I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy to transfer list him and uh, see how he does. If he's wanting to go out on loan, he can go out on loan, but. He's transfer listed, he's wanted by a couple of teams, so fingers crossed he will go and that'll bring in more money. Uh, it's not just more money transfer wise, it's wages as well. Um, that's quite important for 
obviously you, know, you can switch between because as you can see I mean Diego Lopez 60 grand a week that's a lot of money for AC Milan so hopefully we'll be able to get rid of him and maybe a couple of other fringe players as well during the January transfer window and bring in one or two stars because I'm looking at it I'm thinking to challenge in the second half of the season we're going to need better players than what we've got at least one better player than what we've got at the moment someone that can really make the game make the team tick so I'll be looking into possible transfers you know it's all well and good I mean we've got the youth team they're doing okay we've got young players like Donnarumma and um, Nickinson and uh, Maldini etc etc they're in and around the squad that's good but what we need is to replace the likes of Bertolacci, Antonelli, uh, Zapata, you know, that Pauli, the likes of these guys. Replace them with maybe two or three really top-notch players that will really boost us up in the second half of the season. Because I think that's where Milan have gone wrong. They've got a lot of decent players, but no stars, like no main stars as far as um, Serie A goes. So, moving on to today's game, same team as last time, and let's get right into it. So I basically told the lads, basically, just to go out there, avenge what happened the last time they played um, Inter Milan, because, to be honest, that was a disgrace. We should never have lost that league game. So, let's hope that we can start well in this game, because we didn't start well in the last game, so, Ballo... Yeah, poor. So I'm pretty hopeful for the, this Tim Cup because in the end of the day, the, the the major thing for me is that it's a possible silverware. And most, similar to the League Cup in England, really, you know, most boards don't really care about it if you're a big team. But to be honest, it's a piece of silverware. And, oh, here we go. Where the fuck are the defence? Jesus. Yeah, but it's a piece of silverware nonetheless, and end of the day, if we're not going to win the league, and we're not going to win Europe, at least it's a cup. You know? It's at least something. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to at least progress through this round, and maybe in the next round, see who we get. Um, it's all, I mean, I know it's all to say, but I can't remember exactly who we were going to have. As Romagnoli comes off injured, that's not a good start. Okay, makes a straight swap in there. We're all good. But as I said, I mean, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build a team here where we can look to win this cup. I, mean, I don't care because if other teams are putting more emphasis on uh, other competitions, then uh, we could actually sneak in and, and win this cup. Um, which is a trophy in your first season, which isn't bad. And the board, fair enough, they're not that bored with the competition. Oh, Ballo! Fuck's sake, what a miss! Um, the board aren't that bored with the competition itself, but in, I am. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a competition. And if I, if I win a competition, I want to win it. Plain and simple. I mean, what's the point in being in a competition if you're uh, not going to try and win it? So it's Baca, Descaglio, poor ball, Baca again, White Antonelli. Oh, you fucking tool. And we're going to get caught on the counter-attack here. Jovatic, he's too quick. He's going to play in Contobia. 1-0. You absolute donkeys. How easy was that? I mean, this team is going to have to get ripped to shreds um, when they can actually get the, the finance together to do it. Because it's so slow. I mean, look at that. It's so pedestrian. You know, I'm sorry, but it's just horrible to play with this team. And I don't mean that now. You know, I'm used to teams. I, when I'm starting out and I look for transfers, I try and get some quickness. You know, I look for a minimum sort of pace setting because I don't like... I mean, I like maybe one player in the team to have no pace but loads and bags and bags of skill. You know, like, uh, you know, for instance, a Zidane-type player, Del Piero, that kind of thing. You know, someone that's not got great speed, but has the 
the thought process behind it. But this team just doesn't have it at all. It's frustrating. Um, right, let's see if we can change something here. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring on for Bertolacci. I'm going to put Bertolacci in there. And not really got much else we can. <sighs> okay, we'll go for a more natural goal scorer and Luis Adriano. It's not my ideal choice in, by any manner of means, but we'll go for it. Can't do any worse than that first half performance, surely. Oh, so you bring off Jovetic and you bring on Icardi. That's the difference between them and us. They've got players they can bring on that's so good to replace the players that they take off who are so good. We just have shite. We have shite and we are shite. It's as simple as that. The players need a good kick up the backside and I'm going to try and do it in the transfer window. Um, I know that it's only one transfer window, so... I can't do everything, but, you know, if three or four of these players went, I wouldn't be that bothered. You know, like, say, so your Montalivo, Honda, Menes, uh, obviously Boateng's going already, uh, Antonelli. You know, I wouldn't be that bothered. If I can bring in someone to strengthen this side, I'll do it, quite happily. Um, now that I've got the necessary finance, but, I mean, these guys are all in big money, so... You know, they, they could be... Oh, here we go. Icardi's going to score and it's going to be game over. Lucky. We are lucky. Come on. One win, two. Adriano, 1-1. One, one. Thank God for that. Right. Can we use that as a building block, please? Good set piece move, quick, 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 and that's better. See what happens when we play things quickly. We get goals. So Sixty-eight minutes gone now. I'd be looking to make a substitution here, but I've used all my subs, so um, that's not going to happen. So, 78 minutes, getting towards the, the full-time list. Oh, here we go, the usual FM screw job. Is it, or have we got a chance, Menes? Baka. Why the other side? Switch it. Menes. Oh, shite! Honestly. You know, what a chance you had there. Honda. Menes. That's awful, Menes. One and two to Honda. Wide. Menes. Baka! Please don't be offside. Oh, yes. Oh, Carlos Baka. Jesus. I think Menes' shot was just too hard to, for Handanovic to handle. He dropped it. And who was there first to react? Carlos Baka. 2-1. Now. Right, um, defensive mode now takes shape. Oh, don't go up. That would be the ultimate FM screw job, that would. You know, go straight up the park and score. Right, so, defensive mindset. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring Carlos back a, back a wee bit. And we're going to, where's the, let's see, so that's fine now, just 
just make small tinkerings, waste time, tempo much lower. Oh no, good tackle Zapata, good save Donna Rama. brilliant there son, you've earned your con the day I tell you. 85 minutes now, the Skiglio, Bonaventura, Honda, why to the Skiglio, men over here, ball into Honda, oh, men is, oh you, oh, oh I thought that was in, oh I really thought that was going to be it, game over. But we've still got a minute. Don't. What are you doing, Mixes? Jesus. Right, play it. Well done. Just keep the ball. Luis Adriano. Shocking play. That's poor. Get rid of it. Good save, Donna Rummel again. Right, now just hold the ball. Or just kick it long. That's fine. Back up. Play it wide. Honda. Wide. Just, wide. On the overlap. Great ball. Just kick it out. That's fine. Just wasting a wee bit of time there. And it's all over. Wow. What a comeback. Brilliant team. Absolutely brilliant. You know what? Carlos Backer. I'm very happy with your performance. Thank you. Uh, Bonaventura. I'm happy with your improvement in the second half. And Donna Rama, I'm delighted with you in general. That's great. That's excellent team. Absolutely brilliant. <sighs> wow. I'm almost sweating buckets for them. Um, that's brilliant. So we're through to the next round of the cup. Thank God for that. Oh, looking at the other teams, Novara beat Fiorentina. Now, that's interesting. That's one big team out. Um, Sassuolo beat Genoa uh, Damn it, Juventus beat Chievo um, Napoli are out to Piscara So that's two big teams out That's not bad For the first round uh, Let's see, so I still remember Magnolia Oh no, 7-9 to nine weeks uh, Just trying to focus on recovery Entirely undeserved. Deserved more than that. A fantastic chance to do exactly that. I'm absolutely delighted. What's football is all about? It's a pretty bad one. Top class. Uh, my squad is strong. Uh, right, we've got a swallow in the next round. That's uh, excellent. So we get 357 grand for playing in that, uh, for um, playing that thing. And now we've got um, Sassuolo in the next round. So, again, a big tie. And then if we win that, we play the St. Dolly or Piscala in the semis. I, I mean, it's just, wow. I mean, if we look at the tree, can you see the tree anymore? Yeah, tree. So, we're either going to play... So I'm going to press in the next round, right? And then we go on to face the winner of Lazio v Roma and Juventus v Novaro. So basically what you're saying is Juventus or Lazio and Roma. So quite a big tie nonetheless. But again, if these teams are sticking out, you know, if they're not that bothered with the cup, then you never know. Um, so what I'll do, guys, is I'll... Let's see, what have we got now? Come back to you with a double header of Torino and Frosinone. Again, not the greatest um, of teams, but end of the day, we are, you know, this is the way that I'm doing this series. I'm, I mean, I know that a lot of YouTubers, uh, what they do is they skip games or play games offline, um, but I thought with this series and my Barcelona series, I'm as well not doing that. I'm just as well showing you guys everything, all the matches. Because um, quite often, I mean, I've seen uh, certain YouTubers, um, not naming names, but uh, being accused of cheating by um, the fact that all his live comms he loses in all his off-camera ga off games, uh, he has good results. So I, I'm not one to fall into that trap. I'm just wanting to show you guys everything in the series 
all the games and you know, I mean, that's been a good couple of episodes, you know, the three wins back to back there and then two wins out of three in this one. Obviously disappointed in the league game, but, you know, if you t- say to me that you get three points and um, through the next round of the cup in this episode, I would have bit your hand off for it. So absolutely delighted with this um, performance that the team's turned it around now. When you look at the difference in form compared to the start of the season, you know, when it's... Uh, loss or win loss draw draw loss loss draw loss loss win loss right and that's when you know it got serious when shit got serious there and then it was like draw draw win 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 dr- loss win so very happy with with the way it's turning out now i know we're only in december but i've got a good feeling that we'll be able to eke our way back up uh set our table a bit um, we're not that far behind, really. And in terms of, you know, if you beat one of these teams, you gain three points on them automatically. So, really looking forward to it, and I will see you guys in the very next episode. Cheers for watching.